Well, hey there guys, it's Soldam here. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to list through all files on the computer. First of all, I'm bad in English, so I'm gonna be trying to explain you as best as I can. So please stay, stay with me here. Uh, this is going to be quite easy, but we are going to be using recursive uh, subroutine to achieve this. It's very simple, very easy, I will show you right now. We will create, uh, for instance, antivirus, doesn't matter. I saw in multiple comments on the YouTube that people are having problems with this, so let me show you how it's done. We're going to do something like this. We are, we are going to use center screen and do it. Yeah, this will do. So, first, let me... Oh, no, not that one. Play one. List box, list box, there we go. Okay, we're gonna need a list box. We are going to need a button and we are going to need a text box. Where is it? Mm, text box. And we are going to need a folder, browser dialog. Folder, folder. Folder browser. There we go. Okay. So, let's rearrange this a bit. So, like, something like this doesn't really matter how it's going to look it's gonna work just as as good yeah what okay we're going to have something like this yep yeah. and this is misplaced we can fix it yeah it's the same size okay now it's good right yeah okay so first thing First things first, we need background worker. This is just to make our life easier and for you to see that it's actually working on something. First, we are going to say on the bottom uh, folder browser dialog one show dialog, and if if not string is null or empty folder browser dialog asserted path. Then text box, you know, text is equals to folder browser dial selected path. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So you open up, you click on something, you click OK, and it shows it up here. Right? Yeah. So we're gonna move this down, create another button, maybe around here, I don't know, and we'll call him quickly. Um, back again. Scanning, and of course, maybe we can do something like text box one. Oh no, no, not here, not here. We can do it. Uh, read only, just so they can't change it manually, so we prevent any bugs. Yep. Okay, now it's pretty simple. Uh, we will do here. Uh, background worker, we are going to, 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 to open him up as well, so we'll begin scanning, so in the bottom we're gonna say background, uh, background worker one, uh, one worker I think, yep. Okay, we need a public variable where we are going to save a string, where are we currently in a file, so we don't uh, jam up. Actually, we don't need to. Sorry, and let's start off by typing our sub. So, private sub get files by value. So I'm, we, can, uh, we can do something like this: uh, file location as string. Okay. So first, we are listing files, not folders. So for each folder, we're gonna run the same uh, subroutine, and we will list every file. Uh, for each item a string in uh, yeah, oh yeah, uh, we need to import two classes which is uh, which are system and system mail okay. and my for each item in my computer f uh, my computer file system get files get files of 
file location. Okay, those are the files you're gonna get. So let's write all the file files into list view, list box, and then for each folder run this up again. So we'll say uh, because we're going to be uh, calling this you know, from a worker, we need to invoke. It. So to invoke uh, the list, bo list box, we're going to say me invoke sub and then list box one items add the item. Right? And that's pretty much the first part. And for the second part, let's just take every folder and push it through the same seventeen. So for each folder a string in my computer file system get get directories and we are gonna say the same file location and we're just gonna say get files from uh we have invoked yeah me invoke uh so get files from folder right and that should be pretty much it we have to say get files from text box one the text right and let's first pick out something that can be uh, read really quickly let's pick my game uh, no let me let me see where I can see let me pick my my AMD folder, for instance. You see, it first picks files, then goes through every directory and starts reading files. Right? Which is a lot. Right. So let me show you from a. Uh, yeah, we can just. Uh, from here we can uh, just invoke the query so me invoke in uh, invoke sub list box one items clear yep like this really simple really easy it's, we are already seven and a half minutes in let me show you my whole C drive for instance this is going to be a long way let me windows yeah go whoa yeah, it's not run as a, it's not it's not run as admin. I can't access Windows. Okay, be right back in one second. Okay, so that should fix it. Hopefully. So let's start. Let me point you to my my there we go. Yep. Begin scanning. As you can see, this is populating. Say Windows say that we can always say uh, break. Uh, we can always say here uh, just to avoid uh, we can say uh, here, 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 here. Yeah. Okay, something like this. Just to avoid those errors, and I can finally list them. And to make it even prettier, we can say me invoke sub list box one selected index equals to list box one items count minus one. Yep. Now I have, now I have one S. And this should be all nice and pretty. Hopefully, let me list you through my whole windows again. It should not have any more problems, so let's begin scanning. There you go. My whole windows in one package. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. And there is an error. Access is denied while searching for folders. You are you need to try to get to all folders so yeah 
so you can't access some folders here so you might as well go for try which I will suggest you to do and that's pretty much it you will probably want to try some other folders and it's gonna work perfectly fine anything for Windows for instance program files is gonna work perfectly fine there we go so hope you <laughs> enjoyed this video stay tuned for more and I'll see you again later and of course, when this finishes, it will um, go back the uh, go back through this subroutine to go to the beginning, and actually, you will see every single file. So, have fun coding, and I'll see you again next time.